Ontario college students spending a second day out of the classroom as instructors and other staff continue to walk the picket lines. The labor stoppage led to a rowdy exchange at Queen's Park today with opposition parties pressing the premier as to whether she'll force the two sides back to the negotiating table or consider back to work legislation. I want to know what this government is going to do to get students back in the classroom. Don't make us wait 20 days or 40 days. Students need to be in the classroom. Will I do everything in my power to make sure that we encourage the parties to get back to the table? Yes, I will, Mr. Speaker. But will I undermine the collective bargaining process? Will I? Uh, will I take actions? The debate was halted abruptly multiple times with the speaker calling for silence. Kathleen Wynne said she won't intervene in talks at this point, but the chair of the college faculty negotiating team is hoping the premier can play a specific role. What I'd love to see is the government's uh, support, and I've heard that the, what the Premier said during that question period was that she's going to do everything she can to get the parties back to the table, and I hope that involves uh, putting some pressure on or having conversations with Council about entering into these discussions in good faith and actually beginning to negotiate. 12,000 faculty members walked off the job yesterday, a move that's impacting roughly 300,000 college students. The union is asking for increased job security, more full-time jobs, and a greater voice in academic decisions. No bargaining sessions are currently planned, and the two sides are reportedly far apart.